everybody, welcome back. Today is 21 of using one, sorry, of using my prints. Today, 21 of 100. I'm using a block of wood today. A friend of mine gave me a piece. He treated it for me. And now I'm just sanding it down. I just took a piece of sandpaper. It's very, it's very fine sandpaper. Not a rough, rough, rough one. And uh, I'm just, I wrapped it around a stone that I had. And I'm just sanding my edges and then the tops and the bottom, the top and bottom of the wood. Now that that's done, I'm going to put some clear texture gesso over it so that I could do my painting. Mind, keep in mind that I'm not really sure what I want to do, but I know I'm going to use my prints, right? And therefore there'll be some painting involved as well. I'm also going to do the sides of the wood because I want it to look finished when it's, you know, if somebody has it up on the wall or even if it's just leaning against something. I want the sides to be painted as well. So I'm applying my gesso all around the sides. Right, so after digging through my prints, I pulled out this piece which was kind of an accidental piece. I was trying to, you know how they you do uh, on a jelly plate, you take a, an image and you print it, put it on the jelly plate and then you layer over, um, prints over that. Well, I was trying something like that, but the initial page had a black and white print on it. And then I ended up, what I think I ended up taking up excess paint several times that's what happened and i just i found at the time it looked really cool so i kept it but obviously i didn't know how i was going to use it so now i'm trying to use it on this if it just fits perfectly on the block and i am trying to use this stencil and this piece of lace which i love so much i just can't get to use it because it never feels right <laughs> See, I just put it aside. Anyway, so I decided to use black gesso as my base. And I was thinking, why did I bother to gesso my block if I'm just going to cover it with gesso anyway? But that's what happens when you don't have a plan. So sometimes it is good to have a plan because then you get to not waste and, you know, you have it just sometimes it really just works out better. But I'm now going to cover it with gesso, the size as well, the black gesso this time. And then try to organize my print, which I really love. I love it. So that's done. I'm going to just check it to see how it looks. Yes, I like it. So I'm drying it now. And then I'm trying to decide how I'm going to work this. So I'm going to put my flowers down. But because uh, the area is a bit bright, I'm going to put it down with some black. So I'm, yeah, I know. I'm going to put black flowers. So let's see how this comes out. Thank you. 
So this is the result. It looks pretty cool. It came out well. I'm just giving the flowers some black grass to stand on. <laughs> uh, I found it's a bit dark. So I'm thinking about how I could fix it, for want of a better word. I'm trying to decide which side to use. I don't know. What I thought about doing was using my spray paint. So I'm trying to stagger the stencil. So I'm putting it slightly off of where it was before. Reposition it so it's not exactly on top of where I stenciled before. And I'm just going to block off the areas that I don't want any spray paint on. And then I'll give it a quick spray and then lift it and, you know, pray for the best. So I'm pleased with that. I'm really, really pleased with that. However, the end of it, it kind of cut off abruptly. So I want to fix that. I also pulled up some paint with the tape. So I need to fix that as well. But in the meantime, I'm just going to stick it down because I didn't want to spend too much time sitting here making decisions, you know, tiny micro decisions. So I just use my tacky glue, I'm spreading it now with my fingers and then I'm gonna get it, I'm trying my best to stick it in the middle of the wooden block. Okay, so I didn't get it quite in the middle, as you can see by my bald fist. <laughs> I'm trying to smooth it out without, um, you know, interfering with it, but I was not successful. I'm trying to shift it now and I ripped the paper. So now I have to fix that. Don't know how yet, but things happen, right? Yeah. I was wondering if I could leave it and hoping that nobody would see it, you know, because people don't normally notice things. I don't know. So I was like, okay, Gina, they will probably notice. So let's try and fix it. So I'm just measuring to see which part of the stencil I could use so it could seem like a natural flow and it wouldn't seem like I did, you know, two completely different stenciling. And then I'm going to get it taped down again. So I'm just going to block off my areas.
So it looks good. It came out really good. However, because of how I put the tape, it pulled up some of the stenciling that I had done before. So, got to get out fixed. And now to do the spray part of it. So I have to reposition the stencil and do it again. And right there at the top on the right in the middle ish I pulled up more tape again more paint sorry because <laughs> I just don't learn I was really annoyed with my this little piece gave me so much trouble but I mean it was my fault I think I was considering doing it over on the black side so what I ended up doing actually was taking a long break it was daytime and I just took some hours off and then I went came back at it so I'm trying to cover up this rip that I did. Oh, and then I, I found this doily. And now I'm just checking it out to see if it could possibly work. And I, you know, I'm just putting it against it. And it actually isn't too bad in my mind. I'm thinking, oh, it's not too bad. You know, I kind of match with the flowers in a kind of way. So I decided to cut pieces of it and see how it looks. See how I could put it, where I could put it, if I could really use it. Could this possibly work? <laughs> and because of that tiny, tiny, tiny little mistake, I have to end up altering the entire piece and put these big pieces in because of a little mistake. Isn't life interesting? So I'm just trying to work with that and see if I like it. And eventually, that's my solution. Yeah, this kept shifting when I was trying to move this around and see how it would look, if I like it, if it fits. And it does. And I like it enough to leave it. <laughs> What I did think was that it was too white. So I'm just adding a really small touch of color to them. And I'm trying to use the colors that are already on the print that I had done whenever ago. Which looks like blue and red to me. So I'm just watering it down a lot. And just adding some pops of color on the See, I was just trying to see if it really was matching. Enough was if, you know, if it was a close enough match. Because I honestly don't even remember the color paint that I used. So I used that, just added th those colors. And yeah, just to help it blend in yet stand out. So it would look like it's actually piece of the piece. Part of the piece.
So this is my piece today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it encourages you to try creating on another surface. And I will see you in the next video. As always, I'm looking forward to your comments and your thoughts. And I appreciate, I want to let you know I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you. Bye.